You are listening to Jobs in Pods. Good day, mates. Welcome to Jobs and Pods, the only podcast where real employers, leading recruiters, and staffing agencies talk about their jobs and tell you how to get them. I'm your host, Peter Clayton. If you're a recent college grad or college senior, we have an exciting show for you today. On this job cast, our guest is Steve Karens, manager of Geico's corporate-wide college recruiting efforts. He's in charge of the company's national college recruiting team and directs the recruitment strategies for Geico's regional college recruiters. Geico, of course, is one of the nation's largest and fastest-growing insurance companies thanks to their low rates, clever marketing, and outstanding customer service. Steve, welcome to Jobs and Pods. You know, I've often heard that Geico is a great place to launch a career. What, in um, your opinion, makes Geico so special? Well, uh, you know, Peter, I think I think a lot of it comes down to the fact that Geico uh, has a lot of opportunities that people don't even know about. A lot of people don't look at the auto insurance business as being a, a varied and exciting career, but I think the the fact that we can offer so many different career paths really allows us to to have for people to have a lot of opportunity when they get here. Um, I think the the greatest thing about Geico really though is that they really just they're they're merit based, so they were they promote from within. Uh, they, they really they see talent and they want to develop it. So there's just a lot of great opportunity here. And, uh, and if you come here raw, they will develop you. And uh, if they come here with talent, they will make you better. When you and your team are visiting college campuses, what type of students are, are you looking to recruit? Are there any sp- specific majors or, you know, just sort of give us an overview of, of who you look to recruit on these when you go on to these college campuses? Well, we recruit for a lot of different things. Um, like I said, there's a lot of different career tracks here at Geico. I think mm-hmm. uh, you know we're looking for anything from IT, you know any IT, computer science. We're also looking for math majors and uh, actuarial science majors. We can look for business majors, anything in the business, finance, accounting. Uh, we're primarily looking for people who have a who can have a lot of different majors, but yet have a real good business focus. So, for instance, in some of our leadership programs, we'll take majors outside of business, but if they have a business minor or they've taken a certain amount of core business courses, even that can fit into what we were looking for. We're really looking for more about the individual. So we're looking for people with a lot of drive. We're looking for people with some leadership background in a lot of cases. Uh, we're looking for people who've had some involvement while they've been going to school. They haven't just locked themselves away in a room and and uh, and just you know gotten good grades because. It's a people business, so we're looking for people who can, who have those kind of skill sets. And, and uh, you know, the, the good part about it is, is the more the more we get out on campus, the more we're seeing that students are a lot more prepared with the, for those kind of uh, opportunities uh, than they used to be, uh, especially with all the types of involvement they can have at campus. Sort of following up on that, Steve, what really impresses you in in a job interview? Yeah, I would say. Well, for me, it's always uh, it's polished. I, I like someone who comes in, they're polished and they're ready, and there's not a lot of um, nerve showing. Uh, I, I like when people have variable experiences. They don't necessarily just come in with one example and hammer that home. Every question goes back to the same history. Mm-hmm. Uh, anytime they can have variable experience, and that goes back to the, my my answer before this is, you know, all that involvement. Uh, you're involved in student groups. You're involved in in opportunities on campus. You're leading projects. You're you're involved in in different things on at the at the that the school offers. It allows you to have variable experiences, and you're not always sharing the same stories or the same basic examples of what you're what, when you're asked questions so to me I, I love to see students who come in and they have a lot of they have a lot of variable things they can pull from even all the way back to high school I mean I interviewed a girl last year uh, she was a swim coach in high school she was a swim coach from the time she was a freshman in high school to the time she was a senior in high school that was some of the things she pulled on that really made it impressive as far as how she built her leadership pedigree and how she she brought some things to college and how she developed those things in college as far as leadership and involvement and and uh, emotional intelligence and different things like that. So she actually did a very good job in building that that resume and that repertoire of leadership and involvement and polish. So I think those kind of things, you know, don't don't just get stuck on well I was an RA and this is what I'm going to pull from because these are some great examples. Think about all the different things you've done and you'll find that you'll find you'll have a lot more to talk about. Oh, interesting. That's some great advice. As we all know, culture is very important. So what is the culture like at Geico? It's it's actually, you know, it's <laughs> I hate to sound cliche, but it's very work hard, play hard. I mean, they, 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 they expect a lot out of the people that work here at Geico. They expect you to be uh, dedicated to what you're doing and to, to do what you need to do to get the job done. Um, but I will say that they also like to have fun. I mean, they, they have 
opportunities to be involved in different sports teams if you want to do, you know, so they have a, I know here in Chevy Chase we have a softball league, they have a golf league, they have volleyball leagues, they have fitness classes at the, at, here in Chevy Chase, they have fitness classes in some of the other regions as well, and, you know, gyms that are on, on site, and, and just opportunities to be involved in other things rather than work. So you can be involved in charitable things, you can be involved in uh, social things, you can be involved in sports opportunities. Uh, so they do offer you those things, you know, so it's that work hard, play hard environment. I guess the, the neatest thing is you can do more than just work, you know, and you can build great relationships while you're going. So it, it's a good place to be. And, and I think, you know, the, the relationships you make in these kind of positions, you know, they do. We have people that have been here for 30, 40 years, and, and their relationships have been built over those times. We have people who have been here for three or four years, and those relationships have been strong as they begin, continue to be built because they're involved in all these different opportunities. So I think the culture is uh, it's unique. I've been in a lot of different companies, and I can tell you that Geico has the most unique and inviting culture that I've been in. I, I want to touch on something that you brought up earlier, which is that Geico is you know truly a promote from within company. So can you give us some examples perhaps of – what does it take to succeed at Geico, and and can you give us some examples of people who have been promoted up the ranks? Well, that's you know it's it's neat that you can you can talk about this, but I can tell you that if we look at our CEO Tony Nicely, he started in the mailroom. Most of our regional vice presidents started on the line. They started on the phones. Um, our AVP, our assistant vice presidents, they started on the phones. Very few people that are in upper management and leadership at Geico have not been at the lowest level doing the job. So when we talk about promoting from within, it's not really a catchphrase. It's serious because you can't – very few times they hire managers from outside the company. They actually grow them. They develop them. Now, we have leadership development programs. We bring people in, and we're, we're, they're focused on those things. But the bottom line is is they have to perform at the, at the levels of the regular associate before they're ever considered to move up. So when we talk about that, that's – you know. That promoting from within is, is definitely not just a catchphrase. It's definitely the, the, the rule of thumb here at GEICO. So you're in the uh, corporate headquarters in Chevy Chase, which is sort of a suburb of Washington, D.C., but from what I understand, you you have offices from Hawaii to New York. Isn't that correct? Yep. We have um, a number of regional offices uh, going from – we have one in Hawaii. Uh, we have San Diego, Tucson, Arizona, uh, Dallas, Texas. Uh, we have uh, one in Lakeland, Florida, Macon, Georgia. Uh, we have two in Virginia. We have one in Virginia Beach and one in Fredericksburg. We have our our plaza, our corporate headquarters here in Chevy Chase, uh, Woodbury, New York, and Buffalo, New York. So, those are those are the, the corporate headquarters. We also have a, a smaller satellite location in uh, in Coralville, Iowa, as well. And what are some of the career tracks uh, recent college graduates can apply for? We have a lot of different career tracks. I mean, you can look at, um, you know, if you're in IT, if you're, you know, computer science or IT, we have the whole IT track here. There's there's corporate positions. There will be analyst positions in, in our pricing and product management or actuarial departments. Uh, with marketing, obviously, is here. And a lot of people think, well, Geico is a very, has a huge marketing engine. But, uh, you know, our marketing department is, is more statistical. It's a different thing. It's not necessarily doing the commercials. But, you know, we have a marketing department, marketing opportunities. We have media opportunities. We have an internal media group that does all of our internal videos and and, uh, and communications pieces like that. You'll you'll see, uh, obviously, out on the line, out in, in our regional offices, sales, service, and claims positions, and there's multiple levels of each uh, that you can be involved in. And then we have two specific leadership programs. We have, a, we have what we call our Emerging Leaders Program, which is our highest level of leadership, um, uh, the leadership fast tracking and, and leadership development program, uh, and that requires a 3.5 and a business focus, uh, 3.5 GPA and a business focus, and lots of leadership. And, and then we have our supervisor leadership, which is equally as um, tough to kind of get through. It's a, it's a demanding program, just like the emerging leaders program, but that's more focused towards one line of the business versus the entire business. So you may look at sales, service, or claims for that. So there's there's a lot of opportunity. Um, you know, we we've been talking about kind of our branding around what we do here. And, and the neat part is, is that you can come here, you can start in one department, you can start in service, say, and you're a service counselor and you're moving up through the ranks, you're doing different things and say, hey, you know, I really would love to get into claims. You have the opportunity to go over there and do that. You have the opportunity to move and to, to grow and, and they'll find ways. If you're hungry, they'll find ways to develop you and put you where you have the best opportunity to succeed. Oh, that's interesting. So Talk to us a little bit more about the kinds of training and, and growth opportunities that exist at GEICO. GEICO is very big on equipping and mentoring their associates. 
Um, but there are multiple opportunities to grow at Geico. It really depends on what you want to do. We've been speaking with Steve Karens, manager, National College Recruiting at Geico, based in Chevy Chase, Maryland. Steve, thanks for joining us on Jobs and Pods. Yeah, thank you for having me. That will do it for this edition of Jobs and Pods. To learn about all the great career opportunities at Geico, visit geico.jobs. Geico, driving your career, ensuring your future. And be sure to check out all of the Geico Jobcast interviews here on jobsandpods.com. And remember, you can find us anywhere podcasts are, including iTunes, podcast.com, and even YouTube. And to stay current with all the great jobs, employers, and recruiters featured in our Jobcasts, check out our growing Jobs and Pods Facebook community and join in the conversation. Thanks for listening.